what is um, been gratifying uh, are the number uh, is to see how rapidly things have gone here at the university where I was originally sort of uh, an eccentric and oddity people didn't quite know what to make of me to uh, being seen as really perhaps a brilliant visionary doing very important uh, research uh, and the university as I said uh, more of the basic scientists are very intrigued with what I'm doing mm -hmm. in asking to join in my uh, on my uh, research team and ask you can I collect uh, some blood and specimen I finally had to say okay you know that's as much blood as we can draw folks so we're gonna have to just make do with wh what we've got going but you know it's, it's gratifying so, so in one hand it, it, it I appreciate how the public can feel very frustrated that the pace of change is slow and from a public health I wish it would come even faster and yet when I see you know in 2008 I'm really seen as this um, oddity to 2017 where I'm seen as this brilliant visionary at the university so change is happening uh, and I think that speed of change will just continue to accelerate it, you know, in part thanks to you know the work of what you're doing thanks to the videos that are out there thanks to the social media of all of our the people that we're helping telling their friends putting it up on their social media and expanding the awareness in their friends with the ordinary folks in Iowa and here in Missouri that they had an incurable progressive disease that got stopped and got regressed uh, and they're telling their friends who have incurable progressive disease that there's hope for them too. Right. So you know the traditional paradigm for a physician and educating a physician would be you know what's the best drug to treat this condition and most of us in day-to-day -day clinical practice are not thinking a whole lot about what's happening in the body at a biological level at a more basic science level what functional medicine providers do is they actually go back to that basic science that biology and although admittedly there's less validated studies regarding you know large clinical trials etc in functional medicine it's that type of information that we're using to help the patients now Dr. Walls does have ongoing research and has published uh, her studies with MS patients uh, but the point that I wanted to bring up as well is that just uh, yesterday in fact I shared with Dr. Walls the results of two large clinical trials that use lifestyle modification in patients with Alzheimer's disease and these were you know these have been presented at major medical meetings published in major medical journals so the conventional medical world is kind of catching up and they're saying okay now now we can validate the fact that these changes that we ask our patients to make on an individual level actually do work to change the direction the course of these diseases so it's really reassuring to see that this is happening and it's nice to know that we've been doing this for a little while and that we're actually on the right the right track with it so I think there's ultimately going to be this convergence of sorts uh, with the direction that the, the population is going, with the direction that healthcare is going in this country, uh, that functional medicine is very quickly coming to the forefront as an approach to treating patients. You know, can I, yeah. I, I want you to uh, comment that uh, in these studies that you uh, uh, shared with me yesterday, uh, so we have some very nice results with diet and lifestyle interventions. Can you think of a drug study for Alzheimer's where we've been able to show improved function? Yeah, not not to my knowledge, none. Yeah, I'm certainly, certainly not aware of yeah. any either. So, so if if you're watching, that's a very big, very big deal. The drugs may slow the decline ever a, a, a tiny amount. It's not dramatic. Diet and lifestyle is a chance to stop the decline and improve function for Alzheimer's. That is a very, very big deal. So if, if you have concerns that uh, you have a family history for Alzheimer's, uh, you're worried about some early cognitive decline, um, diet and lifestyle is a very, very powerful tool to stop the decline, improve function, prevent the decline. Because um, I, I'm sure you want to be playing with your kids, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren in your 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, and 100s. 